Hey, everybody. We're back with the host of Star Talk and the author of the new New York Times best selling book, To Infinity and Beyond. <laughs> I forgot how we had this. Neil deGrasse Tyson. So, this is the third collaboration of my podcast, Star Talk, with National Geographic Books. And National Geographic, that's a beautiful book. Hold that up again. That's a, be that, that's a beautiful book. That's a good looking book. What? Are these? Are, uh. Just saying. Are those, are those for sale no. in the lobby, Neil? <laughs> no, they are not. They should be. No, should be. no, I got my, no. Throughout the book, you evaluate Hollywood science. What film got it uh, the most wrong? Just, just briefly, you, this is the ascent from Earth to the edge of the universe with our physical selves and beyond that limit, our mental selves. So it is that, it's a quest. And by the way, it's not all quests ended okay. Like Icarus died trying to fly. So do you say, well, I'm never gonna try to fly, or do you say, maybe I should make my wings out of something different, okay? The people who succeed typically know to not do what other people did that failed. This is a tracking of that. And right on up to the edge of space time and wormholes and the like. And wherever the topic resembles contents of a film, you know I gotta go there, you know? The scenery of film, did they get it right? Did they get it wrong? You've made James Cameron's life hell more than once. A little I bit, think. yeah, because he got the wrong sky over the sinking Titanic. What 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 mystery have you cracked? Okay, but, but we know that longitude, latitude, time, day, when, uh, when the Titanic sank, <laughs> and he had the wrong sky over Rose as she's looked with her dead boyfriend in the <laughs> back of the thing, and I'm thinking, <clears throat> you know, if the, if if. If that had been Matt Damon from The Martian instead of Leonardo DiCaprio, Matt Damon would have built an outdoor board motor from the, the pieces of the ship and everybody would have been saved because he used science. <laughs> so now, The Mar Martian is an excellent film. Oh, we mentioned that the ship is rocking and they leave him for dead because if they don't take off, everybody dies. But on Mars, the air is 1%, the density of Earth's air. So even fast-moving air would be like, be like a gentle breeze on Mars. Nothing would have been rocking. I told this to Andy Weir, the author. Yeah. And he said, no, you got to give me one. And he did so much else right yes. that I, I, I gave him a whole pass on that. Okay? okay. I, I gave him okay. a whole pass. Now, so I would say the, the, the movie with the most errors ever, it, it's, it's Armageddon. It, it, has, it, has, <laughs> it violates more laws of physics per minute than <laughs> any other movie ever until a year ago over COVID, I saw Moonfall. Moonfall, that's, uh, the moon ha is hollow. Ha ha Holly Berry, the moon is hollow. There's a moon creature inside, and the astronauts knew about the moon creature, apparently, and the moon is getting closer to Earth and everybody's gonna die. And I said, okay, um, this is the new, highest violating movie I've ever seen <laughs> of the laws of physics. To Infinity and Beyond, A Journey to Cosmic Discovery is available now. The man is Neil deGrasse Tyson, everybody. We'll be right back with